Here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. Well, above normal temperatures will bake the Concho Valley for the next week or so, and probably longer than that. Here are the headlines. Heat advisory has been issued for Wednesday and Thursday here in the Concho Valley, at least about eight counties, the northern portion of the area. Just a reminder to never leave kids or pets alone in an enclosed vehicle. On these hot days, drink plenty of extra water. Good idea to check in on your family and friends. And of course, uh, light colored, loose fitting clothing is uh, just something some of the heat safety tips we remind you of from time to time. McCulloch County, Coleman County, Concho, Runnels, Tom Green, Coke, Sterling and Arian. Heat advisory until 7 o'clock. That means temperatures in these counties will likely reach at least 105 and probably 107 or thereabouts. Now these counties across the southern Concho Valley and the western Concho Valley are not included in the heat advisory. That doesn't mean it isn't going to be hot. Obviously, it means the temperatures will be likely in these counties 105 or less, somewhere between 100 and 104. Hot any way you slice it, though. We're not in it alone as temperatures will be in the 105 range or above Waco, Dallas, all the way to Wichita Falls here for the next couple of days. Current temperatures in the Concho Valley, 102, San Angelo, Ballinger, Coleman, Robert Lee, all at 103 degrees, Menard at 96, Eden Brady, 97, same for Mason. We've got 100 in Sonora and El Dorado, as well as Mertzen. Just checked right before it came on the air, and San Angelo has hit 103, so that is the, uh, so far, the hottest we have had today. Here's how we stack up again around the rest of the state. Wichita Falls, the hottest at 105, but on the heels, uh, 103 there in Laredo. Wind really not much of a factor today. It's been very light. It's in between 5 and 10, or sometimes 5 and less across the Concho Valley. Satellite radar, we're just clear as we can be. Barely can see a shower out there on I-10 west of Fort Stockton. And this is what it's been like this afternoon. Time lapse, just some fair weather cumulus clouds passing through. And of course, we have Tropical Storm Debbie still bringing rain from Jacksonville, Florida to Charleston all the way up into Raleigh, North Carolina. Slow moving storm is now. Center of circulation is right here near Savannah, Georgia, just to the east, right here about the state line and it's going to gradually try to work its way back out into the Atlantic Ocean. Here we are tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock, and then here we are uh, tomorrow night, and then as we get to Thursday afternoon, another landfall probably back into South Carolina. Right now the winds are at 40 miles per hour. That storm's only moving east-northeast at 3 miles per hour. By Friday, it's going to be up here in Virginia as a low-pressure area. Looking ahead, though, not much happening here in the Concho Valley as we go through tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night. Just mostly clear skies and hot temperatures. But as we get into Friday, we may have a weak cool front dropping in from the north. Start to see some shower chances as we go through the day on Friday, hopefully to bring us a little bit of relief. But we're not going to see relief tonight. 76, mostly clear for tomorrow. 107, heat advisory, hot and sunny. May see the wind shift to the north for a bit tomorrow. Here's your seven-day forecast. Heat advisory again Thursday. Chance of storms 20% Friday and Saturday. Triple digits all the way through the first part of next week.